All right, here we have our hydrogen test setup. Uh, the setup in includes the hydrogen um, producing unit and a bottle of water to trap the hydrogen so it can't backfire into the cell. And here's an example of what one of the arrays look like, the plate arrays. I uh, couldn't find couldn't find um, stainless steel so I bought stainless steel wall plates from um, Home Depot and the ones that are in there are a little similar except they have uh, neutral plates in between all the other plates. This example and there's our little amp meter. Our amp meter reads zero right now if you can't see it. I have a battery array set up, uh, set up for 12 volts, and just so I can pull anywhere from 15 to 30 amps. And the cell is full with purified water and a little table salt. So I'm going to fire it up. Right now I'm going to connect the negative lead. And as soon as I do, the needle jumps to... 30 almost and it starts to bubble producing hydrogen. <clears throat> hydrogen very explosive in high amounts but um, these little bubbles will give us a nice little poof and so to prove that it's hydrogen we're going to ignite a couple of the bubbles. for them to build up. There we go. There we go. There's a good one. You notice how it's sucking the flame in. Some of the gas it produces, it's actually called Brown's gas. It has other properties to it and some of the strange properties. Some of the bubbles implode and some of them explode with a yellow flame. That one exploded.